Last time on the Afterlife server, we worked on this little island, and it's looking, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's, I just, you know, we, I want to do more stuff to it. And there is a proper way to do this, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, normally, I would go through and I'd plot out every little thing with uh, wool, you know, locations of houses, where walls are going to go, that sort of thing. Um, but this time, I, I, I just want to build the first house. Well, shop? No, um, industry place. It, in, uh, it's a brewery. I'll just be honest. It, it's a brewery, and, and I want to build it because there is somebody on the server who has made a secret special club, and, well, they need to get their hands on some drinks, and I think... I think I have them covered. Now, I think it's worth it to just jump right into it. We still don't have the replay mod. I am not a VIP member for the replay mod on their Patreon, so I don't have early access to the 116 version of it. And uh, Camera Bear, the computer for Camera Bear is, uh, I wouldn't say it's broken. It's just not working very well. Like, it's, it's only getting like four frames per second on 116 so without optifying it's really difficult to use camera bear for anything so i'm just gonna build it up and you know we'll, we'll go from there I'm, I'm a little sad about it don't get me wrong i am a little sad about it but you know that that's just kind of the way things are and while i'm building the house the building the brewing thing place um guys if you didn't know there is an application event which is on a semi-permanent basis at the moment. Guys, you can apply to join and play here on the Afterlife SMP with everyone here. Uh, there is the stipulation, of course, that you do need to be a YouTuber slash streamer and be uploading and pushing out content. That is kind of mandatory, but apart from that, apart from that one tiny little thing, <laughs> guys, yeah, you, sh you should definitely be filling out that application. We already have several people sending things in. The videos look amazing and they're absolutely fantastic. I'm very excited to see some new faces here on the server. And if you're interested in joining us, please, please, please check out the link in the description down below. Follow all the steps closely and I hope to see you soon. So before I show you the build, which looks amazing by the way, I'm very excited about it. Um, I wanted to show you KB's bar, but I noticed a couple Zomzom boys and I threw down a boat and captured them. Um, they, there's no reason why they should still be here, so I'm guessing they're name tagged. I want to be careful because I have thorns and we don't want to accidentally unalive them. Run around, run around. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Haha, -ha, I'm the best. Um, I guess you can keep my boat. But anyway, we're gonna move down here and be careful again. Don't want to accidentally unalive anything. Um, there were villagers down here. I'm guessing there's not any more. Oh, yeah, and the, uh, the golem's gone. So, he definitely has a zombie problem. So, oh, yeah, oh, he's up there. Yeah, okay, we don't, you, you stay over there. You stay over there. I'm trying, trying to show my friends some stuff. You leave me alone. There we go. Uh, we'll hide up here in the office. But this is KB's new shop place, and I imagine we'll be back here uh, in a few minutes uh, with KB. But effectively, I want to show him what we have to offer. And so you guys can see it, because I'm not going to show it when I'm, you know, talking to him. Effectively, I have gone to the trouble of creating a data pack that turns a water bottle and wheat not into a rabbit spawn egg, but rather into a nice cold one for his bar. I'm very excited about this. Um, it's I've taken care of any, everything. You can't you can't abuse this thing. But if we sit here, take a drink. Oh yeah. Oh that cold one's nice. <laughs> I think I think he's really gonna like this. It only lasts for ten seconds and then it goes away. So I think this is gonna be really really fun for him. And I can't wait to show him, and I'm going to use it as a means to get myself my own membership pass to the secret club for when it opens. Uh, a lot of other members have been contributing things to this place, so this should be a rather popular place to hang out real soon, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Now we just need a place to brew up everything, because I'm, I'm thinking even though there's a recipe and he could craft them, 
perhaps we'll be the ones that you know provide it for him. It will be like a like a partnership. And uh, well, I have just the perfect place to brew this up. Behold! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. I'm excited to use Blackstone, which I think actually turned out halfway decent here. Blackstone has been notoriously difficult to actually make work, but I think it actually is nice here. And then one of my other favorite things, oh yeah, that is ancient debris you see there. The other members on the server are going to be so jealous of my extreme wealth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's, I'm excited for this. So I, I, I envision this, you know, two ways, right? If we go upstairs, upstairs will take us to the offices. This is where the business is ran from. We have two offices. We have this one, which is, I'm not sure if we're actually going to make this an office. I think there's a good chance that we'll actually turn this into like a kitchen. Uh, you know, just a place to store some, you know, food. It's, it's the break room, right? It's the break room, and we'll have two people working here. We'll have the receptionist, of course. We got a little receptionist area, and then we'll have the big boss man who will be working from his office. Now, the big boss man has his own personal balcony, and it's in this position on purpose, this, this corner, and that is so it can look out right over there. Remember I said something about uh, possibly having a road connect these up? Well, I'm thinking, well, if we're going to make cold ones and they require wheat, um, well, we're going to need, we're going to need wheat. It's going to, so we're going to have to build a nice big wheat farm over there. It'll be purely decoration, of course, but it'll be a part of the lore of this town, of course. We have to get our wheat from somewhere. And as the boss, you know, we can actually see production from here, which is super cool. And then uh, if we come out these double doors, it's actually just... You know, just an outside break room. Maybe you don't want to be inside in the kitchen or whatever. Maybe you just want to hang outside, get some fresh air. Maybe it's a nice day out. The sun is out. Blue sky. I'm very excited. I think this is this could be really cool. I'm excited to do to do the interior of this. And I know, I know, we're gonna do the interior of this place before we do the interior of the castle. Winter, come on, what's wrong with you? That castle's really big, and I'm intimidated by it. Now, if we come back downstairs and go through this door, it'll immediately take you downstairs. Now this is gonna be like the actual working area. This is, we're gonna put barrels in here, we're gonna do other stuff that makes sense. Yeah, I I, I understand uh, how, a, how a brewery works. You just combine things, it, it, it's alchemy. Now there is one little thing. I think we're gonna end up creating some kind of like a uh, banister either along this wall or along this back wall. Or possibly we'll even use this guy, you know, burrow into this and create a staircase in there. We do want to be a little careful, though, because this is uh, directly underground. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. But from that location, we can either staircase up or we can use some kind of, like I said, some kind of banister and have it come out the back. We can have extra storage back here. But before we go that far and start doing details on the outside and yes we still need lots of details on the outside to really tie this place in we do need to work on this island the proper way and start mapping out where all the other builds are going to go and how we're going to continue to shape this island but oh boy is she a beaut i'm so excited about this i went with a blue roof i'm thinking i want to do something uh like like what you'd see in, in germany or i think even uh england that was pretty notorious but the roofs the roofs would always share a commonality, usually in color. And so I think it'd be really neat if this whole area would, you know, has the same color roof. That way, you know, it's, it's one connected community. It also helps, you know, establish like this idea that there is a, a business around here that specializes in building houses. Like that's what they do. And of course, they're going to get their materials from the same places. And well, if they're building with blue roofs, well, odds are they're going to be building with blue roofs for every build that they're uh, responsible for. That's kind of what happened in real world Germany. And uh, like I said, I think England, I may be a little wrong on the second one, but I know Germany for sure. But I do want to take a look under because this place, as you could tell, actually goes underground. And as you know, we did this hollowing out thing here. So I was actually a little limited on where we could build this because there's farms down here. See, I, I actually could not build that over here because it, obviously the stuff is in the way. Um, but I think it turned out really nice. I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think you guys are going to like it as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But I think you guys are going to like it. I mean, gosh, this is so good looking. I've been staring at it for like 
20 minutes. It's been done for a while. I've just been looking at it. It's I'm, I'm very I'm very happy with it. And it's not even complete. But what do you say we stop right here from gushing all over this thing and uh, we go meet up with KB because I think it's time to make him a proposition. All right, KB is here, guys. So we're going to go right upstairs. He should be waiting for us. I, I see his name tag. I see his. Yep, is there he is. Is that a bear in my club? Oh, I don't see any. Oh, me. You're talking about me. <laughs> Hold on. You, st you stay up there. I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Okay. I, I won't Step make you do... Office. I mean, this, this is your club, right? You own this place? Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, guys, this is KB. I brought an audience with, with me. I, I hope that's okay. They, oh. they, they like to stalk yeah, me. They... They're just in my brain all the time. I don't know if you can hear them the... or not. Those guys over there. Yes. They're... Oh, you see them too. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've, I've been hearing really great things about your club and... Well, b before I gush about it, you want to you want to just give us a little tour so you know my audience knows what's going on here. I kind of went over it just a tiny bit, and I'm sure they're like, I have no idea what's going on. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, if you wait over here, we need to set the mood first. Ooh. Uh, so one of our members is one of your members, uh, Mr. Kyle Blaine, yes. and he's also a member of the club, and he installed some music for us. So let me get the music going, and then then we can have our conversations. So welcome oh. to the Phantom Bar. Uh, oh, that's so nice. You are currently in my permanent office. That's my official rest of season office. Uh, I think you met the staff. You kind of helped me out getting them in boats. They're kind of protesting now. Uh, but that's nothing <laughs> to stress, stress about. <laughs> uh, the yeah, benefit it's... of protesting is we'll have good prices. So okay, this okay. is the main floor. We'll have some, some entertainment up here at some point. Some karaoke maybe. Um, Ooh, pig step, yes. The new we'll desk. Have that, we'll have the new copyright over here. Copyright strike over here. <laughs> uh, we have the bar on this side with blonde skunks, lovely aquarium on the in the back. Oh, it's so nice. And and I had a bartender, but he did he quit? He just left. He just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh well, I hope he's I hope he's okay. I also hope he's okay, because I heard there were some issues, and he, uh, I don't know, he just disappeared. I mean, uh, unless he quit, then good riddance. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, this is an emerald ATM. Do, do you happen to have a diamond on you? Um, no. I have, I have this stuff, netherite. <laughs> uh, there's a diamond. Go ahead and throw a diamond into the emerald ATM. This is my favorite club already. You're just giving me diamonds. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa. There we go. <laughs> so now you have emeralds and you can spend the emerald. Uh, I think you... they're on break still. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eventually you can spend your emeralds over here. I had some good trades, some golden carrots and some cookies and some weird fisherman trades. I don't understand those. Uh, but eventually <laughs> that's the benefit of that. Wait, are you telling yeah. me that that this fisherman was fishing up cookies? No, no, no. That was the that was the, the farmer. Okay, uh, I thought I this... thought you were trying to sell me some soggy cookies. I could if you want soggy cookies. <laughs> Do you like soggy? Cookies? No. <laughs> yeah, so you can keep those emeralds as a as a welcome to the club for the first time kind of thing. It is membership only though, so uh, let's discuss. I have just the thing this club needs in fact i may be uniquely qualified to be the only person to give you the thing this club needs go ahead ask me oh, what it is ask me what it is that is interesting what is it <laughs> you know how you have a, a bar down there mm -hmm. i can only imagine what you're selling right now hmm? what are you selling right now what drinks um, could i get if i came here cookies soggy cookies soggy cookies i knew it <laughs> Here, I have painstakingly created the most powerful thing for you. Go ahead, put both of those in your little crafting thing together and craft it up. Oh, a rabbit spawn egg. Go, go ahead, grab it, put it in your inventory. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Now drink it. One. Now drink it. I'll just freely drink something I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's right. Ooh, Through the power of alchemy, I, I have created I the coldest of ones. Whoa. 
that was a trip. <laughs> um, okay, that is very interesting. I, I saw, I've, I've, I've heard through the grapevine, like you said, my cohort, Kyle, has been here, and word has passed that you don't have the sorts of drinks that a bar should be keeping. Well, I think I've solved your problem, and in fact, I'm prepared to completely donate this to the club. Oh, this is great because a couple of episodes back I mentioned that supplies are still coming and they weren't. (laughs) They weren't. They are now. (laughs) I couldn't find a supplier, but now I officially have a supplier. So I will absolutely accept this offer. And to show you my gratitude... I will offer one of these in return. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh, that's what that's what that's what I'm talking about right there. Mm, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's a <laughs> it's a it's it's not a it's not a membrane. It's a membership. Welcome to the Phantom Bar and the Phantom Club. This is great. This is what I want. I want people to approach me with great ideas. Then I'm willing to let them join because it, it should be pretty exclusive. Uh, Big brains coming together. Big brains. The biggest of brains. I'm so, so excited. Yes, welcome. So excited welcome. to share this with you. I've been sitting on this little this little discovery of mine for quite some time now. And then I saw then I saw this club coming together and I knew. I just knew that this was for you. Pirates need a place to go anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some place in the shore. Home. When we're not on the sea, we do need a home. And this feels like a good home for us, pirates. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that KB. What a wonderful guy. I sure hope he didn't do anything bad because through the power of editing and the fact that I am super constrained on time for this episode, uh, I'm going to have to record this clip right now, which is technically happening after KB, but I'm building it before KB. Yeah, it makes sense. You guys get it. Guys, we're going to start mapping out the island and it should hopefully... Pensla. Pensla. Remember, there's supposed to be like a little road over there or something. Uh, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. So we're going to use wool to line it all out. And we have lots of wool thanks to our passive sheep farm that we keep under there. And what I like to do is grab uh, a handful of different colors. I'm choosing six this time and assign them you know, a, a, a purpose that way we don't get confused and if you know if, if days go by you know we'll still have this so i can remember you know what they are so we're going to use white wool for our walls blue for roads pink and blue to represent different terrain changes either if the terrain's going to go up or if it's going to go down right because if we're using wool we're just going to be placing it down directly on top so you know without knowing the color uh, to represent if we want to carve inwards or if we want to build up like we're going to get confused uh yellow is for builds itself so we're just going to do outlines that's going to be the most trickiest one i think um because it's they 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 have such unique shapes so it's going to be really hard to like nail in like an exact shape of a build so we're gonna you know this one we're gonna have to be careful with it it's probably gonna be a little loosey-goosey and finally gray is for nature stuff so that's like if we want to keep like a little park or maybe the back side of a house we want to do like a garden or something like that's what that's gonna denote so um i've actually gotten comments of you know do a tutorial winter of how to build a city well Consider this your, your your tutorial. I'm trying to zoom in. It's not working. Your tutorial. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Poor man zoom. So the first thing I've done was I've taken white for walls and I have gone around the island and I've tried to plot out something. Just, just ignore that one. But we went around the island and tried to plot out the walls a little bit. And I've left little sections possibly where we'll have the staircases so, you know, we can actually get down to the beach and enjoy some beach time. But we've gone around and I've also raised up all the grass level. And this is so we can have custom terrain that is influenced by builds themselves. So that's something that's, you know, really that's that I really like is that you can have a build and then change the terrain around it. So the build itself is actually playing a role in the environment and yeah, you know, we'll we'll see how that works out. I haven't had a chance to do a full scale city like that before, so this would be a first for both of us. But we've gone through, and I think the next thing I'm going to do, considering how close we are to where I like to end these episodes off at, is we're going to grab the materials and we're going to clean up the wall. 
we're going to go through and actually place in a real wall, real bricks, and uh, clean up the dirt and everything, and have this all ready to go. It will probably end up being the last thing we do for this episode, so you'll have to tune in next episode so we can you know get through and we can plot out the rest of the stuff. I'll probably do all the plotting off camera that way. Um, by the time the next episode starts, we can actually go through each of these and you guys can see um, how it was. And I can explain the building process and you can visually follow along. It should work out a lot nicer. So let's do one of those really quick cuts and uh, get these walls put in. We'll take a very quick look at them and... These walls should be really good and, well, there's, there's, there's a trick to them, right? We want to keep them simple. That way they're easily replicated. The materials actually aren't super easy to get our hands on. I actually burnt through a ton of materials making this. But it is very simple, so if we need to expand it or raise it up or lower it, like all the materials are very straightforward. And the real trick to these guys is the slab on top. It gives us the little lip and it feels nice. We, we've got a clear view of uh, quote unquote the ocean, or in this case the lake. And uh, when we come way over to this side, I'm thinking this side's going to end up having some sort of um, defensive capabilities. We're going to end up uh, you know, concreting or in the, we're putting stone down and making this defensive, put actual cannons lining this because the ocean actually is that way. So if enemy ships were to come into our pirate bay, you know, we want to be able to take them down. We, we would effectively be bottlenecking any enemy ships and just completely wrecking them from this vantage point. But if we fly around, you'll see we got the wall going all the way around. We have the openings, which they do need to admittedly be cleaned up. We just, I really just don't have time anymore, not just in this episode, but uh, for the rest of today. Um, Mrs. Tooth and I are going out of town for some not so great news, which I won't get into, but um, yeah, it it's basically just means I am just flat out of time for making this video. Now, the upside with using the slabs, if when we go to do elevation changes, if let's say for example back here we are like, yeah, we wanted to go three blocks up, we actually want to you know, make this terrain go way, way up, it's very easy. All we have to do is just start removing the slabs and then keep building up the wall, replace the slabs on top. Makes these walls very, very easy to work with. And then later down the line, we can go ahead and change it. If, for example, if this wall was like seven blocks tall, this just straight flatness might not look so great, so we could end up changing that later. But for now, having them all at a set elevation uh, is going to make it so much easier to plot out the rest of the city. We literally have solidified our foundation and having your foundation before you plot out anything else is probably the most important thing when it comes to planning out your city but guys that is going to be it for today's episode thank you so much for watching be sure to leave uh, any feedback in the comments down below about this particular build behind me hopefully you guys like it I, I, I still can't stop looking at it it's been a couple days for me and I still can't stop looking at it but thank you guys again for watching leave a like if you like subscribe if you haven't share with your friends hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one